think writing any novel with kind of suspense or mystery, a lot of what you're doing as a writer is working on instinct, uh, knowing that certain things have to be withheld, certain pieces of information have to be withheld to make the experience more enjoyable for uh, the reader. I think some of that is quite natural, especially in dialogue and things. People don't always say everything they mean to say, even when they're talking about quite straightforward things, they're not trying to hide anything. We still don't always quite get at the um, truth. <clears throat> so it's kind of just pushing that, trying to create a more extreme version of that, where people are deliberately hiding things rather than just not, not quite managing to say what they mean. Um, and the only thing that I really have to do when I'm writing is know absolutely in detail what has happened, what, exactly what it is that the character is hiding, so that when they do mention things, there is a definite, concrete sense of what they're, what they're saying and what feels natural, and that later when the reader finds out what they've been withholding, that it doesn't feel arbitrary, that kind of that absence of knowledge feels sort of natural, as natural at the beginning as it does at the end, so that you're not, you're not aware of what they're not saying immediately. I think also it's about sort of drip feeding the reader, I guess, and, and creating a bit of a gap and making sure that your scenes or your kind of chapters, as a writer, that you're not writing something that's just written around absence, that's interesting on its own right. I think because I don't write chronologically, I'm not writing a book from the beginning to the end where I'm building the mystery organically in that way and then at the end there's the reveal. I write all different little bits and I write the bits that seem really fascinating to me and that might, maybe I'm able to get a joke in that I find funny or that I can put a little intriguing bit in that I would find creepy if I was reading it. And because all those things then slowly build up the novel, I'm not always aware of quite how that's kind of working as an arc, as that kind of narrative arc that everyone talks about. And it's only later that I can work out what I can take away or add in that doesn't disrupt the reading experience too much.